Hey everyone, welcome to new video from Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve some questions based on crypt arithmetic concept asked by Infosys. Many students were asking us to create a video on this particular concept. So that is the reason we are creating this particular video. Do watch this video till the end. I'll be sharing one exciting news for all of you. So make sure you are watching the video till the end. And if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, do subscribe as we will be posting various campus updates through our channel. So now let's start with the question based on crypt arithmetic concept. How to solve crypt arithmetic question? There are some rules which you need to know before solving the question. First, let me show you what are the type of question that means crypt arithmetic. Let's check this question. If cross plus roads is equal to danger, then what is the value of D plus A plus N plus G plus E plus R, which is danger, right? So what will happen now check the rules and later on we will be solving this question each alphabet will have a value from 0 to 9 okay we are going to assign some values uh, for each and every alphabet from 0 to 9 each variable or later you can say should have unique and distinct value so suppose if I say r is equal to 1 then any other letter cannot take a value as 1 because I have already said that r is equal to 1. So each variable or letter should have unique distinct value. Next, each letter or symbol represents only one digit throughout the problem. So for example, check this question. If here I say r is equal to 1, then here also I need to mention r is 1. Okay, so throughout the problem, the letter will have same value. Next, you have to find out the value of each letter in the crypt arithmetic. That is what ultimate M is. Next, the numerical base unless specifically stated is 10. So always anyhow, we consider it as a base of 10. The numbers must not begin with 0. Now, what does that mean? So suppose let me say 0, 7, 8, 9. This cannot be a number. I can say 789 as a number, it is a three digit number, but number cannot start with zero, okay, uh, whenever we are solving crypt arithmetic questions. And the next, after replacing the letters by their digits, the resulting arithmetic operation must be correct. So whenever you are going to replace all these particular letters by values, ultimate answer or arithmetic operation should be correct. So now, how to apply these rules while solving the questions? Let us check. So let us solve this particular question. Cross plus roads, as it is a five digit number, I'm adding another five digit number and I'm getting answer as six digit number. Okay. So one thing you need to understand whenever we add two five digit numbers and if we are getting a six digit number, six digit number will always start from one. Let me take one example. Suppose my number is eight, three, 572 plus suppose 95892 as you can check if my answer is going to be six digit definitely always six digit number will start from one so this is one of the concept from arithmetic operation you can consider so whenever they give you question like five digit number is added two times then definitely you can say six digit number will start from one so value of d is one to make it simple, on the right side, I have written all the letters and I am going to write value one by one, whatever I am going to get in front of that. So over here, value of D is one. And on the left side, I have created some boxes to make it easy for you to understand. So value of D is one. I will write it over here. D is also available over here. So I will write it over here. So now I know values of D. Now, next thing I need to start from somewhere. Suppose let me start from the right hand side which is s plus s is equal to r. Now again you need to apply one of the concept from arithmetic operation. Whenever we add two similar digits, the answer is going to be always even number. So since s plus s is r, suppose let me consider value of s as 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Suppose let me consider value of s is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. As you can check, value of r is always going to be even. So there are various concepts which you need to understand and which you need to use while solving crypt arithmetic question. So one thing is sure R is having even value. So even value means how many values R can have? R can be 0, R can be 2, R can be 4, 
R can be 6 or R can be 8. Now one by one we need to try values and check whether it is correct or not. Let me consider R is equal to 0. Now if R is equal to 0, two conditions are possible. One thing is S is also 0, 0 plus 0, it will be 0. But according to crypt arithmetic rules, we know each and every letter will have different value, distinct value. So S cannot be 0. Another value can be possible if I want R is to be 0. Another value I can say if S is equal to 5. If S is equal to 5, 5 plus 5 will be 10, that means 0. And then it will give carry to the next number, right? To make it simple, I will write it over here, value of s is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10 means value of r is 0 and it will give carry to the next number, carry 1. Now, we also need to understand concept of carry whenever we add 2 digits or 2 numbers, if the addition is 10 or more than 10, we know that it gives carry to the next number, carry can be 0 or carry can be 1. In this case, 5 plus 5 is 10, that means 0, so it will give carry to the next number. Value of s is 5, so I will write 5 over here. 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So value of e, I can say 7. r is also present in this particular position, so it will be 0. Now one thing you need to understand, this particular number, the addition should be 10. That is the reason it is giving carry to the next number, right? So if r is equal to 0, in that particular case, how addition can become 10? Because C cannot have value of 10, only values possible are from 0 to 9. I hope you are able to understand maximum value C can take is 9. So suppose let me consider it is taking a value of 9 and it is getting a carry from the previous number. That also we need to again understand. And this will be a, a 9 plus 1 will be 0. Now again contradiction is there because this is value of A and this is value of R. And two letters cannot have a same value. So what is wrong? The consideration of S is equal to 5 is wrong and ultimately R is equal to 0 is also wrong. So R cannot have a value of 0. I hope this particular situation is clear to you. Whenever you assume something and if it is wrong, after some time you will get some contradiction. In this case, A was also 0 and R was also 0. So what you need to do? You need to go for different assumption. The next assumption is R is equal to 2. Now let's check over here, if I say r is equal to 2, so I will just write it over here, suppose r is equal to 2, in order to get value of r is equal to 2, s should be 1, 1 and 1, then only we can have 2, that is the only possible condition, but as we know, s cannot have value of 1, because d is already 1, that we know, and 2 letters cannot have same value, so r cannot have a value of 2 also. I hope this is also clear. Now let us try the next value r is equal to 4. Before doing that, let me just clear this particular part to make it easy for you to understand. Now let me consider r is equal to 4. If r is equal to 4, that means what will happen? Value of s will be 2 in that particular case. So let me just replace those values in this box. So value of s is 2. s is available here also. So 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So value of e will become 3 r is already 4. Now r is present here also. So value of r is 4. This is r and r is present here also. Again, this is 4. Now what can be the next step? Maybe I need to go for some different value. Now I need to check value of c. Now let me just write. I have considered r is equal to 4. r is equal to 4. That means s is equal to 2. So what can be the possible value of c? One thing we know, okay, c plus r is equal to a. So a is over here. This is c and this is r. Now, as it is giving carry to the next number, that is the reason we are having a six digit number and it is starting with one. That means addition of c plus r should be 10 or more than 10, greater than or equal to 10. So r, I already know it is four. So which value c can have? C can have values from 6 to 9. So I can say C is basically greater than 5. So now we need to try various values for C and check whatever we have assumed which is R is equal to 4 is correct or not. So let me just write it over here. C is greater than 5. So I will consider C is equal to 6 in the first case. Now just check 
if c is equal to 6 6 plus 4 is 10 that means a will get a value of 0 so i will write it over here a is having a value of 0 and it will give carry to the next number now if a is 0 a is also available at this particular position so this will also become 0 now what is remaining over here i am having o and g so suppose this is o and this is g if i am adding 0 to o i am getting g and i am not getting any carry also from the previous number carry is 0 in this particular case so that means if o plus 0 is g so o will have same value as g which is not possible according to the rules of crypt arithmetic so what is wrong considering c is equal to 6 was wrong so that cannot be one of the answer now there can be a possibility of considering a carry from the previous number but if we consider carry from the previous number what will happen suppose there is one carry from this particular number so 1 plus 6 will become 7 7 plus 4 will become 11 and a will have a value of 1 which is again not possible because d is already having a value of 1 so again that is contradictory so c cannot have a value of 6 now let me try c is equal to 7 okay so just i will clean some part of the screen so it will be easy for you to understand so suppose c is equal to 7 what will happen if c is equal to 7 7 plus 4 will become 11 so a will have value of 1 in that case which is again not possible or if i consider it is getting a carry from the previous number suppose 1 is the carry 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 4 will be 12 so a will have a value of 2 in that case which is again not possible because s is already having a value of 2 so c cannot have a value of 7 that is again correct now next possible value for c will be 8 what will happen if i consider c is equal to 8 okay i will just write it over here suppose 8 plus 4 is 12 a will be 2 which is again incorrect because s is having value of 2 suppose if i consider it is getting carry from the previous number 8 plus 1 is 9 9 plus 4 is 13 so a will have value of 3 which e is already having so which is again incorrect so c cannot have a value of 8 now the last option which is available for c is 9 if i say c is 9 in this particular case okay let me just clear this particular part if c is equal to 9 9 plus 4 will be 13 so a will have value of 3 but e is already having that value so that is not possible if i consider carry also from the previous number then 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 4 will be 14 a will have value of 4 which is also not possible because r is already having it so c also cannot be equal to 9 so why we are getting all the wrong values for c because the consideration of r is equal to 4 was wrong that is the reason we are getting all the wrong values for c so r cannot have a value of 4 now next value we need to try r is equal to 6 now if i consider r is equal to 6 what will happen to the value of s s will become 3 so let me just write it over here r is equal to 6 then s will have value of 3 let me just replace all the values 3 and 3 that will become 6 now s is also available over here so 3 value of d is 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so e is 4 r is also available over, over here so which is 6 now let me just write all the values in this particular box i have considered r is equal to 6 i have considered e is equal to 4 then d is already one that i know and value of s is 3 so let me just write it over here now what is the next step which we do we will try to go for value of c now as i know value of r is 6 and one thing is sure as it is giving carry to the next number c plus r should be 10 or more than 10 so r is already 6 so in that case if it is greater than or equal to 10 what possible values are there for c c can have various values suppose let me start minimum it should be 5 okay c can have a value of 5 6 is already taken okay c can have a value of 7 c can have a value of 8 or c can have a value of 9 now we need to try one by one okay which possible values are there for c now suppose i say c is having a value of 5 okay let me consider the first scenario c is equal to 5 if i write 5 over here 
फाइव प्लस सिक्स विल बी इलेवन सो ए विल हैव वैल्यू ऑफ वन विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल बट इफ आई कंसिडर देर इज अ कैरी फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस नंबर सो लेट मी जस्ट राइट डाउन वैल्यू ऑफ आर ओवर हियर ऑल्सो विच इज सिक्स ओके एंड इन दैट केस इफ आई से इट इज गेटिंग अ कैरी फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस नंबर वॉट विल हैपन फाइव प्लस सिक्स इज इलेवन इलेवन प्लस वन इज टू सो ए विल हैव वैल्यू ऑफ टू ओके आई हैव कंसिडर्ड सी इज इक्वल टू फाइव and it is getting a carry from the previous number so a is equal to 2 just let me replace it over here now next step what will happen i am having o over here and o over here so what can be the possible value of o o suppose if i say it is 0 o is having a value of 0 so what will be the value of g in that case 0 plus 2 g will have value of 2 but it is not possible because already i have said a is 2 so o cannot have a value of 0 next value 1 uh, o cannot have a value of 1 because it is already taken 2 also not possible 3 not possible 4 not possible 5 is not possible and 6 is not possible o can have a value of 7 if i say so 7 plus 2 in that case it will be 9 so g will have value of 9 but in that case r plus o is n so this will become 6 plus 7 13 and n will have also a value of 3 s will also have a value of 3 which is contradictory so o cannot have a value of 7 okay next possible number i can say value of o is 8 so suppose o is 8 what will happen over here i will just clear this particular part if o is equal to 8 just let me replace this value over here 8 plus 2 is 10 so 0 it will give carry to the next number 6 plus 1 is 7 value of o i have considered 8 so 7 plus 8 will become 15 so n will have value of 5 but i have already considered value of c is to be 5 so again that is not possible and the next thing suppose if i consider o is equal to 9 okay so 9 plus 2 will be 11 that is not possible because value of d is already 1 so what is wrong C cannot have a value of five. Okay, so now let us try the next values. Now one by one, if you try, suppose if I consider C is equal to nine, you can try seven and eight also. Suppose if I consider C is equal to nine, ultimately what we need to do, each and every letter should have a distinct value, and arithmetic operation should be correct. So suppose if I consider C is equal to nine, C is equal to nine, and R is equal to six means nine plus six is fifteen. so in that case a will have a value of 5 and it will give carry to the next number if a is equal to 5 let me write it over here 5 now what are the possible values just let me put all the values over here c is equal to 9 i have considered a is equal to 5 i have considered now what are the remaining value check which we can put for o n and g three letters are remaining o n and g and how many values are remaining zero is remaining One is already taken. Two is remaining. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is remaining. Now one by one we need to try. Suppose let me start with the value of O at suppose zero. If I consider value of O at zero, what will happen? Zero plus five, G will also have a value of five. But A is already five. G cannot have value five in that case. So O cannot have a value of zero. that is incorrect now let me try the next thing if o is equal to 2 if value of o so this is nothing but value of o if value of o is 2 what will happen 2 plus 5 is 7 in that case it will not give any carry to the next number so carry will be 0 so value of o i have considered 2 so o is also available over here so 6 plus 2 is 8 now just put all the values whatever we have received g is 7 i will write it over here n is 8 and o i have considered 2 as you can check each and every letter is having a different value now just cross check the arithmetic operation if it is correct 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 1 is 4 5 plus 2 is 7 6 plus 2 is 8 9 plus 6 is 15 it will give carry to the next number so 1 so arithmetic operation is also correct so we can say the answer which we have got or all the values are correct now what they have asked they have asked us addition of danger so this is nothing but danger d a n g e r just do the addition 1 plus 5 is 6 14 21 25 
एंड थर्टी वन सो आंसर इन दिस केस इज थर्टी वन नाउ सिंस आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग इट वॉज टेकिंग टाइम वंस यू सॉल्व टेन टू फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक और कंसेप्ट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू सेव टाइम Initially, definitely, while doing it for the first time, it is going to take a time. So don't worry about it. In our Infosys specific preparation package, also we have solved many questions based on script arithmetic concept. One important announcement: after excellent positive and genuine feedback from students about TCS NQT packages, we have launched Infosys specific preparation packages. You can check content on the given screen. Twenty-five plus hours intensive course to cover all the three sections of Infosys test. All the previous year Infosys questions are covered in this particular course. Sixty plus hours of basic aptitude concept clearing videos will be covered, and five full length Infosys specific tests and three hundred plus Infosys specific questions bank will be provided. I have added a link in the description box about the packages. We have covered all the topics from the basics, so if you are not aware about the basic concepts, also it won't be a problem for you. And share this particular video with your friends. like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel for all the campus latest updates from our channel hit the bell icon for all the notifications i have also added telegram channel link in this particular video do join our telegram channel to get quick updates thank you